So I was finally able to get through Belfast, West Side Story, and Pizza by PTA. And some of these did actually make my own top 10 list, which I will try to release soon enough. But I have to say, honestly, a lot of it was head scratching, especially Belfast. It's a good film. It's not a bad by any means, but saying it's one of the best of the year, I'm like, hmm. Well, given the pandemic and virus, what we mean by best is very relative because there's not that many films to begin with, right? Production has declined markedly, so a film getting even released is pretty extraordinary. But that was the weakest of the bunch. I'm not going to do a full review of all the films. I'm just thinking them through in terms of the Oscars. Definitely Belfast, I think, is basically just Brana based on name alone, is getting nominated and getting votes. Again, it's not a bad film, but I don't think we would have missed anything by it not being... I don't think we'd lose anything if it wasn't nominated. So that one felt really gratuitous. In contrast, I would say, at least with Wet Side Story, that Spielberg did do a lot of technical things, and the production design and camera work, costumes were first rate. A lot of scenes where the camera flowed very beautifully, and the way, the way they mixed practical and digital effects. But... I really didn't care about the story. I felt very indifferent to the whole thing. There were only a few sections I found really riveting, even in terms of the dancing. Again, I'm not that into musicals, but I'm not hostile to them. I'm very open to them. But he did what he wanted to do, which was a very classical musical. And it's well done, and I can understand it being on a top 10 list, but it being above 9 or 10, I find very astonishing. Some actually gave the number one spot, which I find incredible. It is a good film, but I'm still puzzled as to why it's getting so much acclaim. I understand we should stick up for it and films like it and not have all films be dominated by superhero or fantasy films. That's fine, but it did feel a little overrated by the way critics were going on and on about it. I really expect it to be wowed, and it is only very amazing in a few parts of it. And that leaves us with PTA. And I hate to say it, but pizza also felt very middling. Again, another good film. I can see why people liked it, but I don't quite understand why people think it's so great. This one I do feel differently, like it can be in a top 10 or top 5 list, depending on your perspective. However, I've seen basically almost everything by PTA. There's a few holes I need to plug up, but I am a genuine PTA expert. I've seen his earliest things, some of his music videos, some of his short films, even his SNL work and documentaries on him. And this felt like him just repeating a lot of stuff in terms of Southern California life. His first films were very autobiographical, and this is him kind of revisiting his childhood. In fact, all these films are coming-of-age films, but Pizza, at least, I did feel engaged with the main story. But again, aside from some technical prowess with the camera and lighting, costumes were very excellent. It did teleport you back to the 1970s very successfully, and the acting, at least by some people, was pretty top-notch, but it just didn't feel as strong as I wanted it to be. And the way it's being talked up, I just didn't agree. Like, I'd say something like Inherent Vice is a little bit stronger. But this is much weaker than Boogie Nights, Magnolia. Like, I'm more of a There Will Be Blood skeptic. With There Will Be Blood, I can sense greatness. It's not like this is lazy. It just, it just felt more like he's relaxed. He's in control of his narrative powers. But the story itself, just kind of middling. It just felt like, hmm, okay. It's an interesting story, one he wanted to tell, but this is only outright romance next to Punch Trunk Love. I wanted a little bit more outright fantasy in this, so overall I am just perplexed by the Oscars. Really only Power the Dog. I felt that legitimately should be on there, but why is Dune not included? I can't understand that. I think Dune was much, much stronger than a lot of these other films. Definitely a lot better than Belfast and West Side Story. With Licorice Pizza, I can kind of see a debate, but... Not much. I think the Snyder Cut was the best film, but it can't be included for many reasons. And politically, I know Zack Snyder is not very popular with the Oscar people. They, these films are worth seeking out. I did see one film that I will put on the top ten list that is not talked about much. But overall, yeah, I'm just mostly left with perplexities into how or why the Oscars pick best director. So, But if PTA gets it, I won't be mad, but it does feel like he should have gotten it for other films. If he gets it for pizza, it's fine, but... It just feels more of a middling part of this canon to me. It just feels him at his more middling powers than him at his best, in my humble opinion.